Hey guys, I just got back from a long 15 day road trip and uh, my Jeep's a mess so I'm going to take everything out and organize it so I figured this would be a great time to show you everything that's in my Jeep. I guess we can call this EDO, Everyday Overland. This is just the stuff that's always in my Jeep whether it's parked here for a week, whether I go down to Key West, whether I go to the mountains, any anywhere in the country that I go, this is the stuff that's always in my Jeep. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything out, place it on the floor, and I'll go over everything. Okay, that's pretty much everything out of here. Just some paracord and extra GoPro charger and stuff. My trail doors are always in there now, now that it's summertime. Um, I keep about 8 to 10 Powerades or Gatorades or whatever's on sale from Publix in there all the time. It's just nice to plug it in when I'm going on a road trip or if I have training at work or you know something like that. I always have cold drinks uh, in my Jeep. So this entire mess, everything on the floor right here is stuff that's always in my Jeep. So I'll start at one end and go to the other and just explain what I have and why it's in there. This is my Eno hammock sleep system. Uh, it has the hammock, a rain fly, a bug fly, um, and some atlas straps that are always in there. It's always ready to go. Um, if you follow my Instagram, I use it a lot at the beach. This right here is a selfie stick. As you can see, there's a GoPro mount right there. Uh, that's probably been in my Jeep for at least a year now, uh, thanks to Josh. He put that together. Um, this is a toolkit. Um, this is for fixing flat tires, replacing starters, basically anything that's going to break down when you're on the trail or just driving on the interstate. I also keep all the tools necessary to change wheel bearings and the boat trailer, the jet ski trailer, any kind of trailer. Those bearings seem to always go out from the salt water. This is a tripod for my uh, Canon. I like to take uh, pictures of the stars at night and nighttime uh, camping pictures, so that's always thrown in there. This is an LED strip. This actually is Velcro on one end. It's extremely bright. I put Velcro right here on the inside of my window, so it lights up the whole area, probably good, probably good 20 feet in a circle. So that's pretty cool. They sell these for like 35 bucks. Uh, this is a pie maker, also like a grilled cheese maker. If you see my video from the Jeep Ranch, you'll see Paul making us very tasty pies with those. Strawberry pie, blueberry pie, cherry pie, I guess. I don't know. This right here is just cooking utensils, spatulas, spoons, forks, knives. That goes with my Timbo Tusk, which is a scottle. Fancy name for a grill. Uh, these are all headlamps for me, plus whoever wants to go camping and doesn't have one, I just loan them to them. Really unpopular, clean toilet paper. Even more popular, soft toilet paper. Not John Wayne toilet paper. This right here is a folding saw. It's actually pretty sharp, I haven't used it yet. I mean, I tried it out on a piece of wood at the cabin, but I haven't had to use it on the trailer camping yet. These right here are two Lucy lights. Uh, they can charge on the dashboard while you're driving and when uh, it becomes nighttime at camping, they're ready to go. This one lasts I think 11 hours on a 6 hour charge. This one lasts 18 hours on a 6 hour charge. So you just leave it in the sun for 6 hours then you have light all night long. This right here is a 4 way USB. Um, I use this because these days everything is going to USB. Phone chargers, GoPro chargers, um, even these LED lamps now have uh, USB chargers so that was kind of a necessity. And then this right here is a pretty long extension, so it'll reach from inside my glass all the way to the front of the Jeep where my cigarette lighter is. These right here are the legs for the Timbo Tusk, and this is the actual burner for it. It takes that little propane bottle right there, it goes with the grill too, that's usually in my Jeep. I have an axe. This right here is a trail bag. You see them a lot, they're really popular, I guess you could say it's like a poser item. People put them on the back of their jeeps but rarely do you see trash in them. I know there's a lot of jeep clubs around here, off-road clubs that go through and they pick up trash when they're on the trail and that's what they're meant to be, but rarely will you ever see people with trash in these. I don't know if they just don't want to get them dirty or they really don't know what they're for. See it even says pick it up for trash but people don't usually use those. You'll see in my videos I usually use the red bags 
that the firewood comes in. It's pretty much the same material, just as strong, and you're gonna throw it away anyway, so I usually reuse those as the trash bags. Random toothpaste and stuff from the dentist. I just keep it in my Jeep for those times you go camping. Marshmallow cookers, hot dog cookers. All right, this is just a fork, knife, spoon set. A couple little meals to go. This right here is probably one of the better things I purchased. I think it was $16 at Walmart. And it comes with uh, bowls, plates, mugs. Even came with all this. Now I had to laugh because this is four of everything. At Bass Pro for $22 or $24, they'll give you one plate, one mug, one bowl, one fork, one knife, one spoon. So I got four times as much for less money at Walmart. So it's not always a bad thing to shop at Walmart. A first aid kit, just random food, peanuts, corn, baked beans, got some seasoning for uh, chicken and whatnot, uh, cooking oil for the scottle, Pam that goes for the little grilled cheese cooker, whatever you want to call it. I have a pot right here just to boil water and make random things in. It's good for mashed potatoes, you bring instant mashed potatoes, which this is all just instant kind of stuff right there. Let's see, right here we have, these are two little stoves. I don't know if you guys know what a penny stove is, but I'm sure you probably do if you're into camping. There's a penny stove in there, and then there's a rocket stove. They're just made out of tin cans and Coke cans. They work great. You'll see in my videos, I make hot chocolate in the morning with them. There's denatured alcohol that powers the penny stove. Right here I have a tiki torch I made. There's a video on my channel. It costs like... $2.20 to make this thing. These are straps that go to my awning. That was on my Jeep, now it's on that off-road trailer that I have. Got plenty of zip ties. This right here is just uh, like an overnight bag. There's shampoo in there, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant. Pretty much everything you're gonna need. Um, I always have my trusty little Glock. LCP 380, little pocket pistol. And then I have this right here, which is all my GoPro mounts that I use to make videos. That's usually just floating around back there. And last but not least, I have my weather radio, my little ham radio. $20 on eBay. Probably the best investment. We use them all the time up in the mountains at my parents' property. Uh, that way you don't have to run back and forth or rely on getting a cell phone reception. You can just say, hey, I need this, or hey, this broke down, or hey, I broke my leg or something. Let everybody know. Uh, paper towels and just styrofoam bowls and some plastic cups. That's pretty much everything that I keep. Um, I just have a bunch of just random things. Inside the front of the Jeep, I just have these right here. Um, looks like an extra lens for my camera. Um, I have a CB radio, a neck knife. Right here, I always keep my winch remote. Just random stuff you need for jeeping. So that's pretty much everything that's always in my Jeep at any given minute. Um, if you have any questions, just comment, or if you have any suggestions on things I probably should keep in there that I just haven't had a need for yet, I'm always up for that. Now I have the fun job of trying to put all this stuff back in my box. I pretty much have everything put away. Got my tool bag out there. It's pretty much the only thing that doesn't go in here. Um, I did not go over this green bag, I don't think. This is just like my fire starting bag. Um, it's got this thing right here. It's a little sparky. Um, it's just for fun. I mean, obviously, Anybody can use a lighter, but when I take people that haven't been camping before, it's kind of fun to just, you know, just have little things to do around the campfire that no one else has really done. Um, this is just dryer lint that I keep. Um, there's a lot of afternoon rainstorms during the summer in Florida, so if you're trying to start a fire and everything is wet, it's, uh, it's a lot easier just to start a fire using lint and just throw little twigs on there and the heat from the, the lint burning will kind of dry them out and then start a fire that way. This is just like a little mini uh, fire starter. Uh, this is something you can put in a backpack for hiking or a door pocket in your car. Um, it's totally dry. It's just a pill bottle. So you don't have to worry about water getting in there if you're hiking and it's pouring down rain or something. So I usually keep all this stuff in there. Now that everything's put away, I guess the last two things that I carry is I always have a full tank of uh, gas. 
and I don't have any water in this right now, uh, mainly because I usually carry three gallons of distilled water just for drinking and cleaning up with. Um, I'm going to put water in this, but I'm thinking it's probably not the smartest thing. I kind of want to put maybe a gallon or two of coolant in there. Um, my Jeep tends to run hot and uh, I've been adding a little bit of coolant every now and then. So Florida's it's May and it's already like 103 degrees. Um, feels like temperature so it's probably only gonna get hotter through July so I'm thinking I might put coolant in there I just have to mark it really well um, that way nobody thinks it's water obviously it's gonna be green so I don't think anybody would be dumb enough to drink it but I just want to mark this really well so no one thinks it's something other than coolant this is my little table right here if you haven't seen it before this part slides out and uh, this folds over and doubles my space so I can cook my little grill on here and uh, make food or plates, cups, whatever. Now that everything's... Uh. 